Hey everyone, how you guys doing? It's Grugs of Legion Tactical Cutlery. Welcome back, Legionnaires, troops, and new recruits. Appreciate you guys. Man, you guys are helping me grow nice and steady. Appreciate everybody out there. In front of you, you see this Holtzman's Gorilla Survival Knife. Okay, there's not really a name for this knife other than it's a survival camping knife, fixed blade hunting with sheath. Okay, that's what the title is on Amazon. The exact name, I am not sure, but we are gonna test it out. I did receive this from Holtzman's uh, Gorilla Survival to test out, and we are gonna put it through its paces. Before we get started, let me know what is in your pocket. Today, I am carrying this Elkridge Stockman. It's got three awesome blades. Been testing this out for knife delights. And it is a pretty nice knife. I did some work yesterday on making some beef stew, so check out that video. But this is what is in my pocket. Let me know what is in your pocket, ladies and gentlemen. Write it down in the comments below. Veterans, active military, as always, welcome to this channel. We definitely appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for your service. All right, Legionnaires, let's go over some quick specs. As I told you before in the beginning of the video, this is a survival camping knife or a fixed blade hunting with sheath. All right, let me give you some features. Uh, it has a two-tone uh, finish uh, with a black coating and a satin blade. It is uh, full tang. Uh, it does come with a G10 ferro rod and a G10 scraper. It also comes with a paracord and a wrench, okay? Um, it also has uh, some beautiful tan G10 handles. Uh, overall length is 11.22 inch. Blade length is 5.62 inch with a blade thickness of 0.16 inch. The blade material is D2 at 58 to 60 HRC. The handle length is 5.59 inch. Handle material is G10 and the sheath is an awesome Kydex that also has Kydex for the ferro rod and the scraper. All right, let's do a real quick close up. There's the blade. It is a flat grind blade. It is quite nice. It did come out very sharp out of the box, but we'll see how long that'll last. Two tone finish. It's got a small sharpening twirl right here. It's got a wonderful and generous G10 handle. The knife has got some weight to it, and unfortunately I didn't see what the uh, weight was on the uh, specs, but uh, if I find out, I will update it in the comment section and the description section. Very nice hefty knife. Protruding tang, full tang, lanyard hole, and I did put the, it did come with this paracord on, and I tied it up here because we're gonna do a little bit of chopping. All right, scales are removable, and I like this swelling over here. Just, it's slight, but it seems to be doing the job. So um, edges are nice and smooth. There should be no hot spots that I could feel. Looking good, a little light jimping on the top. Let's take a quick look at the sheath. Now this sheath did come with this nice little Kydex piece right here to hold in the scraper that has a G10 handle. Hopefully that'll last well. And there is also a ferro rod that comes with it. All right, I'm sure that the power cord was used to tie these two together and wrap around your neck, but I used it for a different purpose. Uh, these pieces are removable if you don't like this on your sheath, all right? It does have an option to um, keep the knife in place with this strap, all right? It came with a tech lock, all wrapped in a box. Now, you can go take a look on Amazon for the box and stuff like that. Or you could take a look at my uh, Legion Live that I did the other day, and you'll see the whole package. All right, but this is a nice little setup, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just put the knife in here real quick as part of the close-up. There you go. Pretty nice package. All right, let's get to work. We are going to... Take this log and process it and see how this knife holds up. All right, Legionnaires, I'm going to start off with some V-notching and then I'm going to see if I can do some chopping. Test out this blade.
So far it's biting in deep. There's a nice little little notch right there. Make sure I get it into focus. This is a nice hard piece of wood. Kind of like this V-notch batoning. It's not uh, too exerting, you know? But so far, so good. I am gonna do a little chopping because I'm kind of curious to see how a blade this size will do chopping and it should be fine. But the best way is to test it out. Okay, that's looking good. Let's do a little more. All right, looking good. All right, that's a good start. Let's do a little chopping now. The handle feels fine. So far, so good. I do have the lanyard here. Let's do a little bit of chopping and see how it works out. Now what's nice about this knife, it's uh, it's well balanced, okay, but you know it's hefty, you know, and it's got some good weight to it. So let's just keep going. Oops. Definitely capable for chopping. No hot spots. Um, I know these look like they're sharp over here, but they're not. They're rounded off and it feels pretty good. Okay. Now, first I thought this was Scandi grind, but it's not. It does have a flat grind, high saver flat grind, and there is a bevel, a beveled edge over here. And let's see. Yeah, so far so good. All right, let's keep going. Got myself a nice hard piece of wood. So we'll test out this D2 steel. Looking good so far. Now on Amazon, it comes in three different colors. Um, a green handle with all satin blade. That was kind of nice. I like that one. Um, and then two knives with this type of configuration except one with a tan handle and one with a black handle so pretty cool and uh the price was 139.99 on amazon and i think amazon as of right now is the only place that are selling these these knives all right enough talk let's keep going look at that that's just chewing right through this thing. Just chewing right through. I'm going to baton right through this in a minute, but I just wanted to test out some chopping with you guys. All right, let's see if we can get baton right through this thing now. done and as you guys could see it's not a bad size log okay edge looks good let's move on all right troops let's do some horizontal and vertical batoning
going right through troops. Look at that. It's just splitting the wood. I got to say, I, I do love all kinds of grinds, but I, there's something in my heart about the flat, the full flat grind, not the full flat grinds, but uh, saber grinds, you know? And it did a great job. Okay, let's do some, some batoning this way. No problem. Ah, uh, that's good. Look at that. Edge seems to be okay. Let's quarter this. That was one nice hit. very good did some nice quartering all right let's see if we could uh, process these down even further for some feather sticks all right Looking good. Perfect, perfect. All right, I'm gonna go off camera and do a little bit more and then we'll get to doing some feathering. All right, troops, this was real easy. I don't know if it was the piece of log that I cut or what, but it was real easy to get some nice sticks out of this. Check this out. Now I know that uh, flat grind, high saber grind helped out, but look how nice and thin I was able to, to chop these up. So this is perfect for feather sticks. So let's try it out. And we'll test out the sharpness too. I know it's only been a little bit, but as far as I'm concerned, it's still pretty sharp using the front end, rear. All right, let's see. Let's see what kind of feathers we can get. Well, it's doing it. That's nice. And the handle's so comfortable. I know I said this, but you know, it looks blocky, but it's nicely rounded off. So I just want to stress that, you know, in case uh, any of you guys have concerns of this. That was good. Yeah, it's good. That's a decent job right there. Let's uh, tap this into the stump and see if we could do some pull curls, yeah? I always appreciate a protruding tang. It's nice in there. Let's get this out of the way. Let's see what we can do here. Ooh, look at that. Awesome. Very nice. Looks like she's doing a job. I'm good with that. Now, since this is a little on the front heavy side, let's do a little bit of chopping. Cause I'm kind of curious. Let's chop these down to a little bit more manageable sizes. Oh, that's cool. That's good. That's good. Great.
So my point is this has got a little bit of heft to it. So it seems to be doing a good job. One more. All right, very good. All right, let's test out some carving abilities. I'll just make a tent stake. The weight is excellent, I gotta say. It's definitely a hefty knife. I don't know, maybe some hikers may or may not like it. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't even know if some bushcrafters would like it, but as a camp knife, this is pretty good. All round knife. All right. Make a nice point. Yeah, that's looking good. Still sharp. Getting rid of the bark. To the front of the blade. Yeah, I mean, looking good, not the best, but all right. Uh, let's do some tapering over here. Thumb control is excellent. So far, no fatigue. Everything feels real well. Yeah, worked out good. Um, let's do a notch. That's digging right in. All right, that looks good to me. Let's see. Point is sharp. All right, 10 stay created. All right, let's set ourselves up for a Legion light up, okay? I'm gonna test out that fat wood and we're gonna do a Legion light up for East Ridge Outdoors because he turned me on to this company and got me this uh, pretty awesome knife. So I wanted to appreciate him and I'm gonna shout him out and uh, do a legion light up for him. All right, let's make some curls. So far so good, so the sharpness is still pretty good. Let's see in the front over here. I'm gonna test out the spine to see if it's, it'll scrape the wood. Some nice icky sticky wood. Look at that. Look at that nice resin in there. This is Home Depot fat wood. So I encourage uh, content creators, legionnaires, subscribers to go out, go get yourself a bag and try this out. This stuff is pretty cool. So it's making some nice corkscrews. As you could see. 
quite honest with you, I kind of like the corkscrews better than, than scraping. It's a lot faster. All right, now let's test out this spine. Let's see. All right, look at that. Looks like she's doing the job. Just gotta get that right angle. All right, troops, here you go. I'm gonna get off camera. I'm gonna do a little bit more so I don't bore everybody, and then we're gonna do a Legion light up. All right, you guys, this uh, this spine, that jimping, the spine is doing a real good, good job with doing some scraping. I made this nice little pile over here just by doing all this. So some pretty sticky stuff. So let's see if it'll light up. That's awesome. Okay, that is some sticky stuff. So now I'm, I am gonna use the, the uh, ferro rod that came with the kit and testing out the spine. If the spine doesn't work, um, I might try this under here, the sharpening choil and see how that works out. Although, not sure, not sure if there's enough space there for it. If not, we'll just use that scraper. All right, troops, I had to move to the secondary location. It was a little windy where I was. I just decided that I wanted to come over here and just be a little bit more safer. Now I did do a little scraping with the um, with the scraper that uh, the company sends and it works. You know, the scraper and this ferro rod works, but let's see if the spine works. All right, here we go. Yeah, it sparks. There we go. That's a fire, baby. All right. That's awesome. All right, East Ridge Outdoors, you have been honored, sir. Thanks for turning me on to this knife, man. It's awesome. Appreciate you, man. Wow, that's some blaze right there. That's pretty good. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This knife proved its worth. It did a good job. There's only one thing I did forget. I forgot to do a tip test, but I don't know. That tip looks pretty thick. I'm sure it would work just fine and dandy with the proper use and not abuse. But yeah, it's a good knife, guys. All right, troops, I really hope that you enjoyed this test with this particular knife. I think it's a great all-around field knife. I would take this into combat, maybe get the green handle version taken into combat. If I was a soldier, it'd be a nice gift. Um, I hope that East Ridge Outdoors enjoyed his Legion light up. I enjoy, I enjoy your videos. I like your testing. And I can't wait to see the testing of your knife. Uh, I know you got the same one and I hope that you have the uh, same pleasant experience that I did. And uh, let's, let's just go over everything real quick. I mean, this knife did real well. So uh, Holtzman's teams, if you need me to test out any more of your knives, I'd be happy to because this was pretty stellar. Now, the only thing I didn't do was the tip test. But um, I, I, you know, I'm pretty positive that uh, it would come through with flying colors. It's a pretty thick tip, pretty robust tip. So uh, I'll have to get it next time. But uh, yeah, I mean, let's check it out. You know, uh, did a fine job with uh, scraping and uh, making individual curls with the fat wood. Okay, I made a nice tent stake over here, no problem. Feather stick, pull curls, no problem. I was able to quarter the log right over here, chop them into smaller pieces, and I made some great uh, feather sticks, you know? Look at, that, look at that sharp point right there I made. Uh, still pretty sharp, the knife. There's no defamation. There's no issues with the, um, 
uh, blade, no chipping, you know? Uh, I, I, this would be a great camp knife. This would be a great uh, um, hiking knife, you know? It's a little bit heavier for some of the hikers and maybe the bushcrafters. I mean, we're not talking more a heft, you know, but uh, but it is, a, it, is a, it is a weighty piece, but I thought that was a great advantage because, you know, I was able to, you know, to chop this stuff, you know, if you don't feel like taking a saw with you or an ax, you're doing a light one day hike. You know, this was capable of, of doing quite a bit of work, which you obviously saw and I proved to everybody. All right, troops, I'm satisfied. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you very much for taking the time to always check out my videos. Appreciate you guys. We are growing slowly. Uh, so if you like this, please share this with everybody. Uh, ask people to subscribe. We are growing um, real, real nice. Uh, and I so much appreciate the Legionnaires out there. And I want to grow the Legionnaires. So uh, like, share, subscribe. Also, I'm selling t-shirts, man. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Uh, you know, allow me to represent your area of the world, man. Uh, you know, buy a t-shirt. I'm not looking for a lot of money. Uh, I'm not asking for any profit on it, so, but I would love it if you would represent the Legion in your part of the world. So I'll leave a link below and in front of the screen. And uh, yeah, man, thank you very much. All right, troops, so much appreciated. Vets and military, we love you guys. I want to bring awareness to everybody. Hashtag 22 a day, hashtag 22 a day no more. There are uh, military personnel and uh, veterans that come out of the military or out of the service and they face a lot of challenges. And unfortunately, one of these challenges is suicide. Uh, so I'm gonna leave uh, links in the description and in the comments section. Also, there's a heartfelt message from Martin Miller. He was a Vietnam veteran from 66 to 69. He is a legionnaire of this channel. Please read his message and you guys have earned and deserve the help that you need, okay? Also, there will be some slides at the end of this video. All right, Legionnaires, don't forget, let me know what is in your pocket. I love you guys. Thank you so much, everybody. Appreciate it. Hold the line, everyone. Take care. Legionnaires! Move! Move!